Hi, this is Ryan from RKX, and today we're going to be comparing the RKX diverter valve with the generic diverter valve that you can pick up pretty much anywhere. First off, you'll notice packaging-wise, the RKX valve comes well packaged in foam. Your generic ones usually look pretty beat up by the time they get to you, and just a valve in a box. Side by side, they don't look too different from one another. The main difference is the RKX valve is a little bit shinier and it has the hologram sticker on the bottom. Now, the big difference is in performance. The generic valves, typically right off the bat, have leak issues and will not hold boost and will not hold vacuum. So here we have a hand vacuum pump held up to the generic valve um, just like it would be in your car under vacuum and we can see that it can't hold any vacuum even brand new out of the box. RKX valve holds great vacuum, works just like it should. Try to zoom in on that. Now, the next thing you'll note is um, these generic valves, the pistons are machined differently. And they tend to leak boost pressure um, through them even under very little boost. So I'm just going to blow on this one and we'll listen and see if we can hear it leaking. So that was a generic valve. It's leaking a tremendous amount of boost even um, you know, with just a little pressure, I can put on it by blowing through it with my mouth. Now, RKX valve. <laughs> Nothing. It's sealed up tight. Um, the other thing you'll note on this nipple that comes off, the RKX valve is focus there. sealed with a an o-ring so no leaks there whereas generic valve no seal and will always leak through that no matter what you do even if the rest of the valve miraculously starts working in sealing you'll always have a leak through that because it's not sealed uh, now let's open them up and look at the internals So again, this is the generic valve. O-rings are coming out with it as I push it out. So the first thing you'll see, the piston's kind of dull. It's not um, been polished. It has a O-ring on the tip to seal. Um, the O-rings are much inferior, they don't seal nearly nearly as well, and the kind of matte finish that's on here uh, is really hard on the O-rings and will cause it to jam up a lot of times when it does operate. Now onto the RKX valve here. So you can see polished finish on this valve versus the dull finish on the other to help ensure smooth operation. The tip uses no O-rings. It's just a precision machined um, fitting to the valve itself 
and it's much more reliable, uh, requires a lot less frequent maintenance than the other style valves, and just holds boost overall better. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped you out um, to know what the difference is between the RKX valve and all the other uh, no-name brand valves that you can find all over the net.